Welcome to I've Had Worse. Not so much a review today, but a beer challenge. This is my £10 supermarket beer challenge. So one of the channels I watch, uh, Scott and Wonders World, Scott threw out this sort of, spend £10 in the supermarket, what interesting beers could you get? Well, if you're a craft beer boy, you could literally walk away with just two because they're a bit pricey. Um, but I think the idea was just to, you know, what range of interesting beers could you get for a tenner? So this is my uh, my effort. Uh, Abnam's Broadside. Um, not tried this. Looking forward to reviewing this. It's a 6.3, 500ml strong ale. Um, mm, well, I thought, you know, uh, what's the price of that one? 190. Yeah, you can pocket money prices. Uh, the next one uh, is an Erdinger. Uh, this will be the only the second Erdinger that I've tried. Erdinger Dunkel, so it's a dark beer. 5.3, um, 500 mil. Um, I said an only the second one that I've tried. I did try a low alcohol one in the weather spoons. Put me off them because not good, not good. Anyway, looking forward to that one. Um, then we've got my brother's favourite, so I've got Sharps Atlantic, it's a pale ale, uh, and we have a 4.5, 500ml, uh, have had this before, don't think I've reviewed it. No, I've reviewed it. No. But, you know, Sharps Good Brewery, of their range, I prefer Sea Fury, uh, but you don't see that very often, so, um, there we go, Sharps Atlantic. So again, this is another. Uh, oh no, this is the expensive one. Two twenty-five. Two twenty-five uh, for this one. I think this one, the Erdinger was. Uh, Erdinger one eighty. Yeah. You know. Uh, so yeah, why is sharp? Why is that so expensive? Because it's popular. Mm, could be. Could be. Next one uh, is from Salter. It's their blonde. It's their um, light and refreshing ale, four percent. So I was going to say, for some reason, I thought it was called a summer ale, but it's uh, their blonde. So again, not a heavy hitter, but I'm looking forward to doing that one. How much was that one? Uh, that one. Thank you. Um, um, that was a one ninety. Again, so you know, under two quid. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Okay. And although I tried to get different breweries, I don't know what I was thinking. It wasn't until I got home that I realised I bought another Adnams, and this is Ghost Ship. Uh, this is one of Madame Drector's favourite beers. Uh, and this is a 4.5. Uh, and the Ghost Ship was 190. Okay, so those are my five. Um, and those roll in at £9.75. But Tesco's has a... Um, four for six. Yeah, four for six. So, that one, the broadside, wasn't in the deal. So, taking those into account and the extra, that comes to £7.40, which enabled me to buy McEwen's Champion. And I'm still under me... Yeah, I'm still under me 10 quid. Um... And the champion, you know, heavy hitter, 7.3. Absolutely love that beer. I've had it lots of times. Um, so I thought that was a pretty good haul for under a tenner. Um, I mean, what are we talking about? What's the, we don't drink, I mean, don't drink in, don't drink, don't drink in pubs because we live in the middle of nowhere and it's a real trek to get to one. Uh, I, every now and then we go to the local Spoons, which is a, you know, like a 20 mile round trip for me. Um, and so the reason I go to the Spoons is because they have a range of uh, different beers that often the local pubs don't do. Um, and they change every week. Yeah, they change on, on a weekly basis. Um, so I don't really know what you're paying for a pint these days. So the last time I was in the Spoons uh, yesterday, and I think we were paying about 2 25 for their, you know, um, craft beer range. Um you know, so what's an average price of, of anything? What four? Four plus. Four plus, isn't, four it? plus, isn't it? Yeah. So. You know. Six for a tenner. That's not a bad range, is it? That's not a bad price. Okay. So. Tell me what you think. Have you tried any of these? Did you like any of these? 
Um, I will be reviewing all of those except that one. Um, and I'll be interested to hear, you know, your thoughts. Um, give me your 10 um, uh, and tell me which supermarket it came from. Uh, as ever, I am not sponsored by Tesco's. It's just that Scott had done Sainsbury's and so I thought I'd do Tesco. £10. Yeah. Not your 10. Well, 10 beers. <laughs> yeah. 10 beers. <laughs> Here are 10 beers. Yes, no, your £10. I'd be lost without her. I, as ever, am waffling. I'm going to go now. I'm going to open that one and enjoy. Cheers. <laughs>